Hello traders, welcome to this training session futures forex stock trading for, for beginners. Now, actually, in this video, it's not only just for beginners, but it's also for the day traders that may be struggling. So, we're going to go through a lot of information. I'll go through about uh, eight or nine slides to begin with, then we're going to go to the charts. And I'll show you the three types of charts that I use how I use an entry chart an anchor chart one and an anchor chart two then we're going to minimize it just down to one chart and I'll scroll through the chart one bar at a time and I'll show you how to pick winning trades day in day out now I'll just turn the camera on for a moment so in this session we will cover a lot of information what's really important here traders is you be open-minded is that about 70% of the traders that join me are already experienced and have been struggling up till now and about 30% are brand new traders so what I do promise you in this video is to really drill down and show you how I trade as I said I'll go through step by step now of course there's a huge amount of information we could spend hours and hours doing what I'm about to do so I'll try to keep it to about 30 minutes or so but this is the most important video perhaps you'll ever see on the internet that is uh, I'm going to show you step by step exactly what I'm looking for and explain it step by step or other traders or other educators what they'll want you to do is to spend two or three five thousand dollars with them before they show you what I'm about to show you so let me turn the camera off and let's get on with it because there is a lot of information I want to get through so first of all I do need to pull up the risk disclaimer there is a risk in trading uh, we don't trade with the rent money and if trading has not been kind to you up till now may I suggest you stop your trading uh, learn what I'm about to teach you because it's very very powerful and just a very quick advertisement and then we'll be into it uh, please um, uh, click on the link below or visit my website to download my free training manual um, and I've also got uh, another manual there called the truth about day training you can also down load free of charge most importantly make sure you subscribe to my channel I've got hundreds of videos on YouTube so make sure you subscribe so you can be kept up to date with all of uh, my videos and even more importantly why don't you come and join me as a member for $197 you receive all of my indicators uh, which I've got for most platforms now uh, over 200 hours of tuition on video there are literally hundreds of hand handouts and if you visit my website you'll just be able to see some of the videos there on how comprehensive my program is I am a full-time trader I have over 200 traders each week in my coaching room I've got over 8,000 members that have purchased or invested in my program traders this is the end of the advertisement because what I want to do is really get into the nitty-gritty of how you really day trade but this is absolutely essential a man or woman let me say without a goal is like a ship without a rudder what is absolutely critical traders is that you have some sort of goal when it comes to trading because show me a person that's got a big enough uh, why and all of a sudden the how will appear so what I'm going to quickly show you because when we go to the charts and we start to look at the setups you need to have a target because we're going to be targeting and looking at our entries and our exits so this is really about when we get to the charts how to be targeting a thousand to ten thousand a week income as a day trader but it's very important we set some targets some goals now with my members we've got a, a, a really it's really a mantra five by five yes I can five by five yes it can or trading the 2b which is a a, a hot a, a deeper pullback three by eight yes I can and what it means is subject to the market that you're trading it but uh, if you're going for five by five on say uh, oil that's five five tick trades a day that's 250 less your commissions is going to be at worst case 225 now of course we have taken off there and you've got to allow for losses which was what we're doing here but then we get our larger moves so we call them two B's so our two B's three by yes 
th sorry three by eight yes I can uh, that's three eight to trade today but all of it comes down of course to the market that you're actually trading and what we call the tick value uh, or even the pip value if you're trading Forex and very important what I cover here traders today is just as applicable to whether you're trading stocks futures or Forex and also my videos are always raw real and unedited okay so if I fluff up or mispronunciate a word on the way through please forgive me all right so first of all this is a little compound sheet that all my members have is what is a great target if you've got an account of six thousand dollars we want to be targeting or I recommend at least two hundred dollars a day right so if you're targeting 200 a day and you've got a six thousand dollar account and you let your money compound and every time you build up another six thousand you start trading two contracts within where are we here within 16 within 18 weeks you're earning your ten thousand dollars a week and that's on 200 a day and trading out the contract once you double your money and of course you can play around with the compound table you might make it a hundred a day many of our traders go for 400 a day so it really comes down to your personal account size and what your personal income goal is now what if you don't have six thousand dollars now we've got to also consider right now I'm recording this during the coronavirus and what's happened with the coronavirus we need to consider what we call the futures margin rates now I trade and use the trade station platform and trade with trade station and if you look at the margins required on say the ES it's 13,000 initial margin yes they've got intraday margins but there's a whole lot of things we need to consider such as the risk maxima oh sorry having a maximum risk of two percent so many of our members are trading the micros now the micros only came out in 2019 and you only need say on the ES $1,320 to trade the micros even though some traders will say or even educators oh look I've got day trading rates but we need to consider your stop loss never exceeds the 2% um, uh, the nonsense that is still being sold to traders out there as day traders oh you can risk 5% traders it's just a great way to blow your account we want to do a maximum of 2% so we've got the micros here now another market that we will look at quickly today is one of the European markets I've got many I've got literally thousands of members now out of the UK and Europe we've got say the Bund now the Bund here you only require 4,000 euros now uh, as the time I'm recording this uh, the USD to a euro is about a dollar ten so you need around just say four and a half thousand USD to trade the bond and that's a great market okay it trends beautifully and then you've got of course the currency futures etc you've got uh, the 10-year notes uh, we get to gold and even to the black uh, the black gold the Texas T that's 11,000 at the moment 10,000 there's no intraday margin normally it's around three and a half four thousand so the great thing is there's lots of other markets to choose at the moment then of course you've got Forex where you can get started with four or five hundred dollars and trade a micro and build from there so these are considerations however getting back to this on the micros uh, where you've got massive volumes trading so we're seeing typically uh, at the moment uh, you know we're looking at what around six seven hundred thousand contracts today now what that means to you as a trader is you've got fantastic volume now let's just say you start off with fifteen hundred dollars and uh, even though I know it said thirteen hundred dollars and there is twenty five percent you can trade with the day trading margin once again that doesn't really work because of your risk factor so let's just say you start off with fifteen hundred and your daily target is fifty dollars a day now if you choose to continue to trade micros and every time you double your money that is every time you get another fifteen hundred you start trading an additional contract okay you could be up there 
trade certainly you'd be trading around 35 40 contracts at a time but you're on a ten thousand dollar a week income now realistically as you build your account and you can see your capital value you'd you'd seriously go across and start trading the, the the large contract and one of the reasons for that is the commissions okay so in proportion to the money you're earning the cheaper commissions are when you start trading the big contract okay but micros are a great alternative in the early days and once you build your account so even if you started off with 1500 once you get up to say 10,000 you may choose to jump over and start trading a large contract so you've got lots of options now with the trading style I'm about to show you when we go to the charts I will point out some counter trend trades because there's a couple of really unique things I want to show you however overall we want to be trading with the trend okay so I use two anchor charts and I won't go to all of it right now in the first session here but really but what we're looking at doing is waiting for a pullback or a retracement and then a trend continuation now when it comes to trading there are a lot of different trend continuation trades that we can take okay we there are indicators like the super scalper is an indicator uh, the slingshot works on a pullback and an indicator you got double tops double bottoms with trends you've got anchor charts you've got EMA bounces or moving average bounces you know there's a whole lot of them then you get to change your trend or new trend confirmation strategies you've got your classic ABC setups you've got lots of different setups then you've got your counter trend setups so the challenge is here for a brand new trader it can, you can become very very confused and all of this makes mastering the art of trading very very difficult it's so important that if trading has not been kind to you or if you've got a small account or if you're brand new to trading that you keep it simple or you will lose focus don't estimate the scientific um, fact it's called decision fatigue that's what it's called where you become exhausted mentally with trying to read the charts you know and and there's some um, you know so many people have said and who was it, it was uh, Richard Branson said any fool can make something look complicated the secret is keeping it simple so what is very important and I'll show you a, a number of setups but what is very important that you minimize in your early days to a maximum of two both trend when we call ours the 34b and the 2b they keep up virtually every day so you'd start off with those and once you own them that is once you got them down and you can recognize them in a blink of an eye then you add another but there are some other key things that you've got to learn to do you've got to learn what constitutes a trend which of course I teach my traders and even if you don't join me it's very important you learn what constitutes a, a trend you need to clearly understand divergence because there are certain times when the market is turning or when you have a divergence set up that you avoid taking another trend trade okay so there's some real good signals that you're given where it basically tells you no more trend trading for now at least in this trend direction and you also that ties in with really understanding what angulation is um, a very simple concept but it will make you a lot more money once you get it down pat now the next thing is you've got to learn to trade what you see not what you think and probably the, the way I put it across to my members and to my students is this imagine that you're a pilot flying by wire flying at night you rely on your instruments and your indicators are your instruments now the pilot there um, certainly some with a huge amount of experience may be landing at a certain airfield all the time they can um, uh, land by you know what they think they're seeing on the horizon but overall they reliance on their instruments and one of the challenges is for traders is to start to rely on the instruments now there are many that you can use and I'm going to show you some of the basic ones because once again you can become overwhelmed with what you've got on your charts so let's now go to the charts and let's get stuck into this okay so what I've got in front of us here 
is a Renko chart now there are many different charts I use both Renko and tick charts so you can use volume you may be using time-based charts the exact same principles apply however one of the huge benefits we've got with Renko is they really smooth out the price action we can use Heiken Ashi and and all of this I cover in training with with members that you know there's so many options that you've got but in the end you've got to settle on them and become a specialist get to know them so what I've got here in front of you is this is what we call a two tick Renko now a tick on the bond is worth uh, 10 euros which as as, as of today that's uh, 11 US dollars okay so each time these little steps go up okay that's 11 US dollars so every one of these steps if I can call them steps to keep it simple is um, $11 now remember I said earlier uh, 3 by 8 yes I can okay and you can see I automatically clap my, my hands straight which is what we do to get ourselves ready for our trading day is in this case you could say 3 by 7 yes I can 3 by 7 tick trades a day and after commissions you're going to be netting around $200 that's that's and now that's also allowing for losses and whatever you've got to build that in of course so you know once again people can say oh you didn't allow for losses well I'm talking about net net now what we've also got this is our entry chart then I've got an anchor chart one and an anchor chart two in your early days what you may do is just have anchor chart one and over time you start to build in a number of um, uh, your anchor charts okay well you have three anyway oh, let me say it again sorry you've got two anchor charts in your entry chart this is the one you do all of your trading on all right but there are patterns that I'm going to show you today that will set up on the higher time frame that kick butt and unfortunately for us and unfortunately for most traders they don't know what they are and look I'm very hesitant in saying there are secrets to trading but you know what I really have become convinced there are because I've discovered some things over the years but no doubt a lot of other traders know as well that just work brilliantly and when you see them you don't think you take them so what I'm going to do here is let's expand this screen all right and uh, let's um uh, let me just pull my chair up just one moment so I have a standing desk so I've got a draftsman chair that I'll sit down but uh, most of the time during the uh, trading day I'll stand just to just allows you get it keep to stay in a better mindset I suppose is the best way of putting that now what I'm going to do is we're going to look at the right hand side of the screen here now this is um, uh, I can't remember what happened this is an actually I wasn't even trading the Bund last night my time so I'm going to go through right hand side and I'm not going to get every trade right but I'm going to tell you what I'm looking at okay and what I'm looking at trading now this is what you've got to learn now let me say this our business is really about pattern recognition now yes we will use our indicators and with our indicators you know and the reason I call them indicate is they indicate is they indicate what may happen but I don't get it right all the time and you can use lots of different ones you can use stochastics um, as I use you can use RSI's you can use CCI's MACD's you know there's lots of different indicators but in the end they do just about the same thing right your floor pivots see these horizontal lines these are floor pivots these are pretty much about the only real uh, uh, indicator it's not um, pr uh, predicated upon price that is yes price has got to go up and hit them but they're on yesterday's price and they're very advanced because you've got a very high degree of certainty that you're going to go up and hit your pivot so what I will do is we'll start with the entry chart and that occasionally I'll probably flick across to an anchor chart just to show you and to confirm what I think I'm seeing uh, so let's start from here now on the right hand side this is the open of the market okay so the market opens and we can see we're ticking down now typically for markets being closed and most futures markets are open 23 hours a day I think the Bund is open uh, 20 hours a day so when the market first opens sometimes it will really fly down okay so I'm just going through now here's what I'm looking for straight away 
so the market opens it's been open now it's all there it's been open it's coming down straight away so I'm just checking the time here 1521 now now it's been open five six minutes okay and usually the first five minutes are untradeable now see how we're coming down to this see this uh, line here this is a major EMA when we come down to the major EMA we nearly always get a bounce and this is a 200 period and a very very powerful bounce point so what I'm looking for is a bounce point now what I will do is see these white paint bars these white paint bars do not appear until the second candle and I get an uptick above the second what I will do is just turn them off for the sake of this video and the reason being they sort of um, will give away what's happening on the next one and we don't really need them with the bond okay with the bond uh, I can get in earlier generally speaking when I use a Renko okay so now we're coming down to the 200 and I'm now looking for what we call a bounce okay we're coming down up uh, there's my first reversal candle just there now I look down here my oscillators kicked up I'm now going to take this as a long trade we're going to buy here now my target is uh, seven to eight ticks which is 70 to 80 uh, uh, euros okay now what we have to be aware of is see these moving averages up here see how they've rolled over we usually get either a continuation of a short side here or we will get a bit of a bounce and a continuation to the long side if we go through those we may come up to the midline up here and once again with trading what we're looking at doing is you know we're thinking really a number of things where is price action probably going to head to uh, where's my entry where's my target and where's my stop loss now in this particular case I would usually use what they call a buy stop I put an order in one tick if I've got time that is and usually with the bond at this time easy you put a buy stop in one tick above there and your stop loss is going to go one tick below so what that means is when I'm trading what we call a two tick Renko like here okay I'm going to have in total a six tick stop which is 60 euros that's why we always get back to the size of the account so let's just say that was um, USD $60 that means I would need a $3,000 account to make sure I'm not exceeding my 2% rule so we're now going to enter we're now in whoops we're now up, uh, let's just say we're up to a natural fact you probably wouldn't be up to one now but let's just say one actually one two three four now when I start to sound coming up to these I'm always getting suspicious am I going to get a bounce and roll over five six well that's good okay I want to go to break even now seven eight okay well that's even better and see that little black dot that means I've got and for any members that are watching it now I've got a t20 okay uh, what was that seven eight whatever it is now now I'm now targeting up here all right now I'm now targeting what we call the midline and pivots plot automatically so up we go up we go a bang okay we would be out of this trade we've easily picked up our our eight to ten ticks uh, remember what our target is it's to net 200 plus a day which means in 18 weeks 10 grand a week so what do I now do now I've now got another trade here I look down here I don't have any divergence we won't look at the anchor charts yet uh, we've opened we're setting some you know some ranges so I don't have personally a trade here at the moment so let's just see what happens if I get a trend continuation right I'm expecting a bounce here no I'm straight through there coming down I'm expecting a bounce here now okay so what happens bang there's my entry on that first candle or the close I'm now going to go long again okay I'm going to buy and I've got a six tick stop again whoops that's not good all right I'm still in the trade still in, now my entry is one tick above my stop is one tick below we come down and I'm stopped 
on that trade guess what I just had a loss all right now remember I'm flying by wire I'm reading my instruments my price action as we go along now what about this here we've got what we call a slingshot here well at the moment I'm still considering I've got a that the market is rising so let's go for another trade uh, if I get a signal we could also be heading short here we'll see in a moment We'll just see how far this goes I'm just looking down here at my floor pivot all right now I've got a, another entry all right so now I've got another entry and I will take this and I've also got divergence here try to see that right there that's what we call divergence now I'd love to show you the anchor chart I won't do that quite yet because I'd love to see because the anchor charts really tell you a huge amount so let's get back in and I'm after a minimum of seven to eight ticks so it's just let's just say it's one two three it'll be interesting if we get any any resistance here three four five six okay very good on break even now seven eight now now I'm breaking this my target is now the midline pivot now what you want to do is if you're trading one contract traders when you trade one contract what you want to do early in your career is get the cash register ringing you want to hear the cash register ring meaning you're probably going to get out with an eight tick target yes your risk is six but uh, for members know that we've got we, when you're trading 34 B's which we haven't had one to the long side yet you've got a good 75 80 percent uh, win rate and your two B's you've got about an 80 percent plus okay so that for an example was a 2b there that was a 2b that that was a loss and that's a 2b right there right so now we are still long if you're trailing and there's lots of things we can do to trail this all right so we're coming up uh, my exit signal if I'm trailing will be uh, the first reversal candle okay now we can try ah, now see that little black let me see that see that little black tail just there all right now that would have looked like a reversal candle right there and that is right at the pivot so when you pivots are what we call magnets and that would have looked like you're about to get a reversal and so you've got to make a choice there to either exit okay or wait for the candle to close if you wait for the candle to close you're going to get back a couple of ticks so it really comes down to really learning your trading style okay we're coming up this is uh, quite a rally now this is also where we use tick charts see this really straight run up I I do have another re-entry right here okay so I've got a re-entry possibility right there I just feel uncomfortable I'm so well out with if I was looked at my uh, tick charts that would tell me whether I've got another entry so quite possibly we had another entry there but I won't call it as a trade all right so now I've got a reversal candle just there now to take a counter trend trade which is what I've potentially got setting up here I need three lower closes and that's what the white paint bar would have told me now I've got three lower closes so this is where I'd be looking at my anchor charts again so if I took this trade I have two targets now the first target is to target the yellow line we call it the goal we follow the gold and that's probably a good six ticks which is great which um, now be with a rule of one sorry let me say that again with a t1 or with a three lower closes it means you would have if you tuck your stop one tick above there instead of a six tick stop because you're entering later it means you'd have an eight tick stop so rather than having down here trading with the trend I'm happy to get in earlier but when I trade counter trend I want to make sure that really the trade is confirmed okay so I would be in now so one two three four five six or oh, there we go now six ticks touched the goal now what do I do well I would have been out and only probably got four ticks out of that trade now without looking at the higher time frames I'll take this 
as what we call a 34B so remember earlier I said to you that 34B's are a great solid trade well what we've got there now is a 34B we do not take 34 B's and for members watching this remember we don't take a 34 B after a 2 D so I can't tell at the moment where that was a 2 D so let's assume it wasn't so well once again I'm going to enter my stop goes one tick below enter one tick up above that gives me a six tick stop as a minimum then I want to go for a six tick target all right so let's just say we're in now one two now as a practical target to see your previous high that's always a good one but once again we'll see what happens here whoops that's not good we're still in it uh, one two three four five now we touched six ticks I would be out all right we would get out why look at my MACD now see what's thundering down now all right so also my stochastic is heading down and that's almost a double top you're within one tick looks like a duck quacks like a duck it's a duck so what I've got is now what we call a t7 we've got a double top now because I'm going to run out of time here on this video shortly all right once again because it's a counter trend move I must have three lower closes there's my double top we'd be in where's my target I'm going to target the midline pivot or um, coming down to the our cyan line our midline this very very important level so let's um, aim for that one so let's say we got in now okay we got some slippage or use the sell stop so one two three four five six now we're coming down of a pivot now there we go so seven we tag the pivot and we bounce that's fairly typical now we've got now a second lower low now also traders that may be and for members watching this this may be what we call a 2b D all it means is it's a 2b but after a double divergence these are a lower probability trade so what I'm going to do is let's just see what happens here we go short here all right now why do we go short see my long-term stochastic and I've got a hook here all right this is a signal to go short all right right here we call that traders a t10 very very want to say look it's about 70 75 percent accurate uh, provided you take these after a major move newer traders you would not be taking that trade all right all you're going to be doing is taking that trade there that one that one that one okay you're just going to take initially the higher probability with trend direction trades now where's my target we may get a bounce and a trend continuation if we break this expect a bounce on this level down here expecting a bounce right not there expecting a bounce through okay now we've got a bounce all right now these levels how do I know them so well because we trade them every day and you just bounce off these day in day out what I'm now going to do is we're now going to um, go to the anchor chart all right so let me just do this because what I want to do is pull up the anchor chart here and just to, for a few minutes there to spend some time looking at what we're looking at on the anchor chart so now we get this pullback let me just go here now if you looked at that there yes it was a little 2d okay so we had a 2d now see this pullback here coming back remember that trade there I said we just took there it is right there look at that there and look at that there if you were looking at your far right hand side whoops I've got to be careful that go to screen just there and if I pull this over here and you're trading this is what we're looking for looking at our EMAs on the higher time frames what direction are they traders they're going up okay we want to go long see how we've come back to the major EMA here we're turning we're bouncing off a major EMA here and we're bouncing off a major EMA here 
this is where the magic of the numbers that I use come into it and the time frames that I use in setting up my anchor charts I found that when you get a bounce here you're going to get EMA bounces on high time frames having say three reasons for taking a trade is much better than one and so the best of the best trades are when we've got multiple EMA bounces and bang there we go again with that trade okay thank you very much so what we're doing traders is constantly evaluating what is happening on our anchor charts very very important now we've got a little pullback here and we know we're in a strong uptrend so let's just see what happens down here and bang I've got another entry now this is what we call a rule of one entry and I'm after six ticks and I'll, I'll take one of these in the direction of the trend okay so here we're in a definite uptrend um, if I scroll that along there you'll probably see a tail there it is there see that tail well, it's hard for you to see actually but there's actually a tail there that is that little glitch just there now I want to take this for six ticks okay so one two three four five six seven or might have touched six of whatever it was one two I think we got six ticks out of that one okay and that will be the end of that one for me now I look down here and see how I've now got divergence again see that there now here I'm looking for three lower closes and I'll take this short all right I'll take this as a counter trend trade ah bang I don't get my three lower closes yet let's just scroll this along here okay now bang there I do get a full candle there I'm waiting for three lower closes which will be at that that point there okay one two we're short let's short this now just there this is going to be a pain because it's going to flick across oh there we go let me just move that over for you here bang now what I've now got here basically very poor divergence plenty of divergence but I've got some good divergence on my highest time frame this is what we call a 2d when we trade a 2d we target the cyan line okay why I'll tell you what the logic is when you trade trade signals that are on higher time frames you will get much bigger moves such as that one just there this one just here we use our entry chart for our entries but what we're really doing is trading some of these signals getting in earlier using a higher sorry using a lower time frame so I'm going to enter here I've got an eight tick stop that is by the time I get in if I get in here right now so I'm assuming I use a sell stop so I don't want to hear any nonsense from you that you can't get these trades in provided and let's just check the time 55 59 10 all right you had seven or eight minutes to get that trade on all right so don't give me any nonsense you can't get into it you're also putting in a, a sell stopping which means you're putting an order in in advance and there's a a little secret that when we get our reversal candle how many candles we count down to put an advance order in in front of the market or you can use a market order if you want okay so we're going to use that now once we get that in here is a target down here now realistically we're not always going to come down and usually we get a bounce uh, at the goal is some profit taking but we've got a larger um, target here all right so let's just see how we go here and where we get a bounce either here or down here we will go long again however let's say lower probability and bang there it is there all right now I've got another bounce here I do have another trade here I am going to recommend you take along here and say you use a buy stop you're going to be in now so one two three four five six seven eight be pulling your stop up this may very well form a double top here and actually I just looked over here and we can see we don't even reach reach that we reach a bit lower and bang we're out with seven or eight ticks or whatever so traders as I complete this video we're, we're 39 minutes into it 
what it is and I was going to when I'm we're not going to have time to go and look at the ES I was going to do the same thing with the micros for you it really comes down to learning how to read the trade on the right hand side of the screen anyone can yes can go back and mark up a trade you had one there you had one there you had one there but what you've got to do is develop the skill set that you're reading what's happening here and you discover and see how EMAs you discover there are certain if you break one here you'll come down to this one usually or if you're here you're usually going to come up for another push and test the, um, the floor pivot and notice down here you come down here you tested the pivot so what was once you can see here resistance moving along here what was once resistance now becomes support these are all rules it's a it's a little bit like learning how to drive a stick shift or a manual motor vehicle right it's going to take you and this is where I get frustrated day traders want to pick this up in a week hey this ain't rocket science but you need to give yourself that 60 to 90 days uh, internship and just following the trades and just learning what these are and these are all rules based trades every one of these has got a rule to it okay they're all rules based and so what we're doing is we're looking at all of these now if you're trading with the trend okay I've got to tell you I would have taken that one and I would have been stopped now I've got a winner now I've got a winner you're not gonna now I've got this one here another 30 full beat now I've got a winner so it's about learning the rules to these okay but that isn't rocket science initially you start off trading with the trend then we start learning how to trade the counter trend moves now this one for an example just here what I've got is a little double top yes I've got divergence and down here yes guess what I've got some divergence and that's what I call a 2d and lo and behold we just got stopped on that 2d but here is my secondary entry just there all right it's a matter of learning these but remember counter trend trading is the most dangerous okay you get it it's a little bit like trading counter trend is a bit like stepping in front of a freight train and that's why I say to all traders start by trading your 34 B's then your 2 B's anything to do with trading with the trend now in the day traders fast track program I teach you really is over 15 different strategies but we keep it simple to begin with what I want you to focus on is the 34 B to begin with it's incredibly um, uh, high probability okay you start with the 30, 34 B and the 2 B both of those 3 B is great too but that means you've got to have three time frames we start with those and then you'll move across to the rule of one and others all right once again they're all rules based strategies then when you're ready we start with counter trend strategies now we've got uh, some members that as they say they'll never trade counter trend because it really you're going to have more losses you really like just there we could have had two potential losses just there with the CT trades I wasn't looking too much at the uh, at the high time frames but I may have had two losses just then so this is about learning to think in probabilities as well the individual trade means nothing and this is where really a lot of what I teach here traders is about the psychology of trading you've got to forget about the individual trade you've got to learn to think it's easier said than done right to learn to think in probabilities that is trade lots of 20 and this is where if you're risking five percent it doesn't work you've got to start thinking in terms of a maximum risk of two percent or lower and that's why you can start off by trading the micros so let's just say here you've only got five thousand or four thousand don't even start with that we start on the simulator get you right there and then you start trading a micro and you build you earn the right to start earning more money you know once again you know this is where um, you know there are old traders there are bold traders but there are no old bold traders meaning if you want to master the art of day trading you've got to learn how to trade the right time really the first time there's, there's no other way so traders I will cut this uh, we're now at um, 45 minutes 
so look it's not rocket science it's a matter of learning and once you spend six or seven hours with it going through from the right hand side you start to pick it up and that's the beautiful part about simulators traders is you can do it on the simulator until we get it right thanks traders see you on the next video Thank you.